In this video, I'll be showing you a quick and simple way to track your business mileage with a Google spreadsheet. Hi there and welcome to Switched On Network. I'm Paul FP and I've just got a quick tip here for you today to show you how you can build a Google spreadsheet to really easily and quickly calculate your business mileage so that when you do your claim at the end of the year for all your business mileage, you don't need to sit there adding up routes, etc. So the first thing to do is to start a new Google spreadsheet and I'm going to give this a, a title. I'll call it Business Mileage for Year End 2018 or something like that. And then all we're going to do is along the top, I'm going to set my columns. I'll call my first one date and I'll give it a description. I'll set a column uh, driven from uh, destination. So driven from is going to be generally my uh, office address where I'm located and destination will be the the customer or the, the place or the event or wherever that I've driven to. And then the way it's going to work is we're going to use Google Maps' API to calculate the distance between those two points and that will give me a figure in meters. So this is going to be the key column here and then I'm going to convert that into miles and then for each one I'm going to have the number of trips. So if I sort of have a return trip, or if I go there and back twice, etc. And then on the next one, I'm going to use that to calculate total miles for that journey. <clears throat> and then based on the current value of 45p a mile, we'll then have total claim for that line there. And then what I'm going to do sort of over here is make a grand total. Okay, so I've got all my columns set up. First of all, I'll bold those to make them stand out a little bit. And what you can also do is if you highlight that row and go view, freeze, just that row, and that means that row will stay there all the time, even if you've got lots and lots of entries and it all fills up very quickly. So for my example there, today's date is the 23rd of January. So I'm going to put the date in as 23rd of Jan. And I'll put this as a uh, event. Uh, for the driven from address, you'd obviously put your address. Now, uh, for the purposes of this test, uh, a scary thought I know, I'm just going to pretend that I'm the Prime Minister and that I live at 10 Downing Street. So what I'll do is, in the driven from column, I shall put the address of 10 Downing Street, which is Westminster, London, SW1A, 2AA. And immediately you can see that flows out of my column. So what I'm going to do on the, both these columns format and then I'm going to go text wrapping and select wrap so that gives us a bit of a better layout to view that. Now the destination I'm going to pretend that maybe I was driving to a BBC Broadcasting House so I'm going to paste that address into there so we've got our driven from and driven to address. Now into here this is where the magic happens and we're going to use a, a formula to take the uh, the XML data from a uh, Google Maps API and extract just the bit we need, which is the meters for that route. It's as if we're plotting, a, you know, asking for directions between the two places and we just want the, the total numbers of meters. Now, before I give you that formula, it's worth mentioning that Google Sheets is part of a wider suite of applications available from Google and they're actually the sponsor of this video. It's called G Suite and G Suite allows you to get professional looking email with your company's domain name as well as other things like Google Calendar, Google Drive, Google Docs and lots of other tools that are great for collaboration and allow you to get things done from any location on any device. You can get a 14 day free trial of G Suite if you click the link that's in the video description and if you message me privately I can give you a special code that gets you a 20% discount off your entire bill for the first year. So as your company grows and you add more staff to the package you'll be getting a 20% discount off everyone for that first year. Now the formula you need is quite long so I'm not going to explain it in full in this video but if you click on the link in the video description to go to my website then you can copy and paste the formula from there. So I'm just going to paste that into the meters column like that and then hit enter and you'll see it says loading for a bit whilst it calculates and there we are we've got the number of meters there which is 3117 meters so sort of just over three kilometers now if I just click on that to show you the formula you'll see that that's referencing column C2 as the origin and column D2 as the destination so we've now got the number of meters between those two destinations but we want to know how many miles that is. Now to do that you can just use the uh, the built-in 
functions within Google Sheets to uh, convert that from meters to miles and then just round that up to the nearest one decimal place. So if I click inside my miles column and then to start a formula, press the equals and then I'm going to convert. And then the first argument is the value we want to convert, which is whatever's in column E2. So if I type in E2 there, and then I want to convert from, the, uh, so my start unit is meters, which is a lowercase m in quote marks, and then a comma, and then my end units will be miles, which is mi in quote marks, close brackets there. And then if I hit enter, then that will give me the number of miles, but it's given it me very, very precisely. I don't need it to quite so many decimal places. So if I select that again, and then wrap this whole convert function inside another function called roundup so roundup and then open bracket and then press end to go right to the very end and add a comma and I'll say just give it me please to one decimal place close bracket hit enter and then that's just said well that's two miles so that's excellent and then my next column is the number of trips uh, so that's just a, a simple number I'm gonna say let's pretend I did three trips that day back and forth between uh, my office at 10 Downing Street and the BBC pop in three there and then my total miles column very simply that's just going to be uh, whatever's in my uh, F column which is miles multiplied by whatever's in my uh, G column which is the number of trips so if I just press equals there and then go uh, F2 times by G2 that gives me the number of miles traveled there, which is obviously six, three times two. And then the next column here is to, to work out the number of pounds that I would be claiming there. So hit equals again to start a formula. And I'm going to go H2 times 0.45, because it's 45 pence a mile. Hit enter. That gives me 2.7. Now I want to tell this column to be a currency column. So if I select that column and all future ones as well, and then go format number and then select pounds there that will say two pounds seventy so there we are that's a complete expense claim calculated for that day there now let's imagine the following day 24th of Jan uh, something else and again I'm going to go from 10 down the street so if I just duplicate that by grabbing that and dragging it down now let's pretend on this day uh, I went to channel 4 instead so if I Enter in my destination the address of Channel 4, which according to Google is 124 Horse Ferry Road, London SW1P 2TX. Enter there. And then I just want to drag down exactly the same formulas and everything for that and that. So if I select both of those and drag them down, load in, there we are. It's obviously much nearer, so that's just 0 0.9 miles. I'll say I just did uh, two trips there, there and back. And then the, the total miles, if I drag that down, that will give me the same formula there. That, that would be 1.8. So that's converting those. And then my total claim as well. I'll drag down as, as 81 pence. Now to uh, get my grand total, all I need to do is click in there. And then I want a sum of everything on these rows. And if I drag down for quite a nice long time, it'll give me lots of rows press enter and then you can see my grand total is £3.51 so all you need to do is keep adding to that each time you incur costs for business mileage keep adding it to the spreadsheet and it will build up over time and then when it comes to the end of the year you know exactly how much you have to claim you've got all the details in there where you drove from where you drove to how many trips how many miles etc so you've got all your working saved as well if you need to send them to the taxman too so it's as simple as that I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get all of our other videos as soon as they come out. And after you've subscribed, why not check out some of our past videos which are on screen now. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.